Hello, my stamping friends. Brenda Hillard here at Create with Brenda. Um, I am Brenda Hillard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am located in north central Minnesota. And the weather has finally changed, and the yard work has begun. So, um, a few last videos, and and with the holiday weekend fast approaching, um, yeah, just some some quiet time planning a family picnic, and I have this fun project for you. So, when the new catalog came out, this one, this beauty right here, if you don't have a catalog, you can request one below. I'll put my, my link in there. But is what I wanted to tell you more about in here is there's this fabulous... Um, stamp set. Now, I should have marked the page prior, but you know, that would have, that would have been planning ahead, right? So on page 41, and now this is the inside of the 2022-2023 annual catalog by Stampin' Up! This, this set right here was the one that went you want this. I love these vintage swimsuits. And I hope you do too. So this cute little gem is what we're going to use to make our card today. So in here, look at, you get the four different swimsuits. Make a splash, hello sunshine. I love this. Anywhere is par Anywhere with you is paradise. And wishing you were here. So, all right. There's the stamp set, the main stamp set. We're going to be using nothing better than, and I wanted this little umbrella drink. I also brought in Hello Beauty because I felt like I needed Make a Splash was going to be my inside sentiment, and I wanted this little um, stamp set that looked like water. I'm using the new Elegant Eucalyptus 3D embossing folder. I think you can see. Let me get a, a darker piece of cardstock. And then I think you'll be able to see that design really well. It is gorgeous. All right, so that's the Elegant Eucalyptus. And then of course i have to use my stylish dies so i used the large banner here and then i also used the second to the largest is that the one i used hold on no i used this one the third from the largest stitched stylish shaped circle okay so those two dies and our ink colors are going to be Tahitian Tide, Daffodil Delight, of course our Memento Tuxedo Black. We're going to be using the Sweet Sorbet and the Orchid Oasis. So there's that. And then I am also going to be using the alcohol blends. And I'm using all of the in colors except the starry sky. So I've got Sweet Sorbet, Dark and Light, Tahitian Tide, Light and Dark. I think that's what I said on that one. Um, Parakeet Party and the Orchid Oasis. Okay. So let's show you the card. Oh, and one other thing I'm going to be using is the iridescent pearls, the basic jewels. Okay. All right, here's the card. So I think you can see my embossed piece with that um, eucalyptus, elegant eucalyptus folder. I die cut it using the stylish shapes. Oh, you guys, I forgot kind of the star of the show. I used the 2022-2024 in color 6x6 six six glimmer paper, and I used the Tahitian Tide. And it really made this pop, I think, with all the shimmer and the sparkle like water. 
our cute little um, cocktail, our swimsuit, and then our banner. And then on the inside, I have make a splash with our little water, and then of course the coordinating envelope. So let's get started. I have just a regular five and a half by eight and a half card base, scored at four and a quarter. I'm just going to match up my edges and give our score line a good crease, okay? Oops, wow, I didn't match those up well at all. Let's try that again. Sometimes that happens, I don't know why, but there, that looks much better. I have a piece of Orchid Oasis that measures four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of basic white that measures three and three quarter by five. I die cut the hole again using the stylish shapes third from the largest circle. And then save your circles because then you can make another card. Then I ran it through the embossing machine, the stamp and cut and emboss using the elegant eucalyptus. And as all I did was when I ran this through, being this is the smaller folder and can be used with the mini, I lined up this edge and then just ran it through. And I'll show you how this, I'll show you how this works out in just a minute. I also die cut a circle that was just a tad bit larger than the hole, and that's from the layering circles dies using that beautiful glimmer paper. And you guys, the beauty of this, no glitter anywhere. You just get all of the shine. All right, so to save time, um, with the video, I had die cut the large banner from a scrap piece of basic white ahead of time. And I stamped the um, cocktail glass using my Memento Black ink. And when you do that, you want to give it just a minute or two to dry, okay? And then I also had a scrap piece that I stamped my swimsuit and there are not dies for the swimsuit but as you can see they're very easy to cut out so I stamped the swimsuit this one right here using the sweet sorbet okay so let's color this and then we will um, assemble so using the dark parakeet party I just colored in the rind the rind on the lime, and then using the lighter color, there we go. So dark on the rind and light on the juicy fruit part of the lime. And then I'm going to take my sweet sorbet and it doesn't matter, I'm using the light. And I'm just going to color like every other on the umbrella. And then I'll use the um, Tahitian Tide and color in the rest of the umbrella. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see better, there you go. And then, you know what, I guess I didn't use the Orchid Oasis. I think I was planning to and then decided this was enough color. So I'm gonna bring in our Daffodil Delight. And in the, um, nothing's better than, there's this little piece down here that fills your glass. And I did yellow, like lemonade or whatever your favorite summer cocktail might be. But then that just stamps right in the glass and look how cute that is. I know, kind of makes you want a glass of lemonade, doesn't it? Or something. All right, 
So before we go any further, I'm just going to quickly die cut this. And I'm going to bring it in because I want you to see how awesome this new magnetic plate is with the self-healing cutting mat. So the layering for this is plate number one. Then you put down your magnetic cutting plate, your paper, and then I love how, and especially for little dies like this, it just holds it right in place. You don't need to use the tape. And then you use one single cutting plate number three. So I'm just gonna put that right on top and then we'll roll it through. The directions, you guys, that came with the magnetic plate are not correct. So let me reiterate. It's plate, your platform number one, your magnetic plate number five, your paper, your die, cutting edge down with plate number three. And did you see this? Look, look how well that stays on there. Like it's not going anywhere. And when I lift this, we have the perfect die or the perfect cut, I should say. All right, I need to put my die away in my envelope here because I have been having an issue losing my dies. And not only do I have this envelope, but I have a magnetic bowl and I haven't been using any of it. And then I have to go in search of my dies and that is not fun. So our next step in assembling, so we've got our cocktail, we've got our swimsuit, We've got our circle, and let's bring in the Orchid Oasis stamp pad. And on our little banner, I'm gonna use Hello Sunshine, moving it around on my stamp pad so that I get good coverage. And then I'm just going to set that down on my banner. And I did put it over a little bit to the right because you'll see when we put it together that I layer the swimsuit over that side, okay? So there's that. And then before we put our ink away, I'm gonna bring our card base in and I just want to stamp our Make a Splash. How cute is that? That font is adorable. Okay, so there's that. And we can also bring in our Tahitian Tide. And then remember I told you I took that little piece from the Hello Beautiful? I thought that looked like a splash of water, so I'm going to ink that up using Tahitian Tide and just give that little splash on the inside of our card. I also want to grab our envelope here and just to bring it in so we have our matchy matchy envelope. I did that little splash of water on the flap of the envelope, okay? All right, so for the front of this card, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp and seal and just on one edge, I'm going to add the adhesive and I'm going to center this on our Orchid Oasis mat and just on the one edge. Then I'm going to add some stamp and seal to our glimmer circle and I'm just going to lift this edge and put my circle underneath so that it covers. And just make sure that that's adhered down. And then I can just lift this edge, add my seal, and close that up. So now it looks like that. And I think on here, I'm gonna take this down just because we don't need it. Um, 
you can see the embossing really well on there. Looks like my circle might have slipped just a little, but that's okay. We're going to put our, our banner on. And I was pretty sure I had my Stampin' Dimensionals. Yep, I do. Right here. And my Take Your Pick tool. I love this thing. Just pick them up. Add them right in. There we go. And I'm going to put this right across the bottom of my circle and to the right over here. All right. Let's bring in our little drink glass. Take our backing off. And I'm going to add that right here on the side of our card. And then our little polka dot bathing suit. I love this. Oh, this one is what I did is I put some seal in the middle and then I added a dimensional right up by the tie and you'll see why in just a minute. So I kind of did this little number so we get our There you go. So now we're just going to do our stamp and seal on the back. And we're going to add it to our card base. And do you see how that Orchid Oasis just makes the card pop? Love, love, love it. And these, these little beauties, the iridescent pearls, man oh man ladies and gentlemen this just makes your card even shinier all right and then we've got our matchy matchy envelope so hello sunshine make a splash isn't it cute love 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 this all right you guys that's it for today the only thing, other thing I have to share for with you is my monthly host code, of course. I've got that. Let me move this up to the side right here. And um, this is for May, of course. So um, just a couple more days left to order in the, in the um, May host code. So get your orders in. And... What else do I have for you? Oh, coming up, um, you know that the last chance sale has been announced for the um, January to June mini. So that's out there too. If you still have stuff on your wish list, put it on there. All right, you guys, until next time, have a great rest of your Memorial Day weekend. And um, be sure to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and those who are in uniform defending us today. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.